What's up, ACC youth? I'm Jake Wilson, um, and this is going to be a part of the Been There series, where previously we've had students share their testimonies, um, but really the heart behind this series is just going to be talking about real life things. Um, and today we're going to go into scripture and kind of build off something that we learned last week, um, talking about soap and reap. Um, just to be able to open up the word, to, to read scripture, to observe what we're reading, apply and pray, um, and then reap, read, um, explain, apply, and pray. So we're going to kind of go through that process with the passage that I've selected in Ezra. Um, just talk about it, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or ask your leaders. Um, we just want to be able to help you along in this process to be in the Word, to be growing in a relationship um, with Jesus um, and growing in knowledge of the Scriptures. So today I'm going to go to Ezra chapter 7 um, and go through just a brief section. I know Ezra might be hard to find, so um, just take a second to do that. Um, but here, to, just to provide a little context, because that's something that we always talk about, is the importance of context um, and what's going on at this point in time in the scripture. So for Ezra, we have like the remnant Israelite people who had previously you know, been through some trials, um, they're allowed to return back to Israel. They've rebuilt the temple. They've rebuilt the wall um, under the Persian rule um, who's allowed them to come back. Um, and so in chapter 7 of Ezra, um, we see that he is sent to teach the Israelites. Um, and I would start in verse 1, but that's just a lot of lineage that I don't want to get too caught up in. A lot of names that might be confusing to you guys. So if you guys want to read that. That's going to be in verses chapter 7, 1 through 6. But I'm just going to go ahead and start in verse 6. Um, read this section. Um, just observe a few things and, and point out. Um, but starting in verse 6, it says, This Ezra went up from Babylonia. He was a scribe skilled in the law of Moses that the Lord, the God of Israel, had given. And the king granted him all that he asked, for the hand of the Lord his God was on him. And there went up also to Jerusalem in the seventh year of Artaxerxes the king, some of the people of Israel, and some of the priests and Levites, the singers and the gatekeepers, and the temple servants. And Ezra came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. For on the first day of the, of the first month he began to go up to Babylonia, and the first day of the fifth month he came to Jerusalem. For the good hand of his God was on him. For Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord, and to do it and to teach the statutes and rules in Israel. So going along with soap and reap, the second part of soap after we've read the scriptures um, is to make some observations. So when making these observations, you know, I have some notes here in, in, in my Bible that I've written down, things that just I observe. would encourage you guys to do the same, just to write down some observations. Um, and to go back, the first thing that I observed um, is going to be in, at the, towards the end of verse 6. Um, it's talking about that the Lord, the God of, the God of Israel, had given the law um, and the king had granted Ezra all that he asked and that the hand of the Lord his God was on him. So I think that like made me ask a question, like why is the hand of the Lord Ezra's God on him in this specific instance? Um, and then jumping down to verse 9, we see again the same like verbiage, for the good hand of his God was on him. And in verse 10, also, for Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach his statutes and rules. So those are just, I think, three or four quick observations that could be made um, just to kind of get your mind going, to get you asking some questions. Um, and next, um, you know, you want to be able to like explain what's going on here um, to go along with that REAP acronym. Um, so we see, you know, the verbiage used, the hand of the Lord as God was on him. The hand of his Lord was God was on him. Um, I think this is something that's been talked about previously by Miles and, and some of the sermon series um, that when we see like the hand of the Lord of God being on someone in the scriptures, for the hand of the Lord to like be on someone, that, that person has to be drawing near to God or near to God in general. So. You know, the next question following that would be, how was Ezra drawing near to God? And I think the answer, you know, is here in verse 10, where it says that Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord 
and to do it and to teach the statutes and rules in Israel. Um, so I think just that verse right there goes perfectly along with the acronym that we're looking at here. Ezra is setting his heart to study the law of the Lord. He's setting his heart to study the scriptures, to do it, which would be applying in that REAP acronym, um, and to teach um, his statutes and rules to those around him, to teach them to Israel. And that's the same thing that we want to encourage you guys to do, to make these observations, um, to, to take something from it. So to know that through studying the scriptures and drawing near to the Lord, that his hand is going to be upon us. We're going to see his hand in our life. Um, and to apply that to our everyday lives um, and to be able to explain these things to our peers. And in, in both acronyms, um, we end in prayer. Um, and that's something that like, I would encourage you guys to make an attempt to grow in. You know, whether it's just praying, picking out some verses in the scripture and praying through them, or praying for your families, praying for your peers at school, um, whatever that look, look might look like. You know, to be able to study the scriptures, yes. To be able to understand them, observe things, explain and apply them, yes. Um, but to grow in prayer. So with all these things together, when we're putting all these things together, we're growing most in relation to God um, and being conformed most to the image of Jesus. Um, so I hope that maybe that was of some help um, to be able to go through that acronym and just let you know, let you guys, you know, kind of observe some key points from that um, and just encouraging um, for you guys to kind of do this in your own time. Um, but to close this, I'd love to end in prayer. Um, and that's it. Like I said, feel free to ask any questions in the comments or reach out to your leaders. If you have further questions about Soap and Reap, or maybe this passage in Ezra specifically, or the book of Ezra, or just any scripture, we're here for you guys. Um, we want to be able to provide any guidance that we can, um, any way that we can allow you guys to grow in your relationship with Jesus. So I'm going to close this in prayer. Um, dear Lord, um, I thank you for this day. Um, I thank you for the opportunity just to open your word, to be able to study your word, to know what it means to be able to come to your word and to make observations, um, to grow in our ability to explain the scriptures, um, to grow in our ability to share with our peers the truths of the gospel, the truths of scripture, so that they might come to know Jesus too. Because um, we know that this is our greatest desire as believers. Um, I pray that each um, young man and woman that's been able to listen um, here would be able to grow in the knowledge of you, would be able to grow in what it means to study your scriptures um, and to know the importance of the fact that you have provided these scriptures for us so that we might grow in relationship with you and grow in conformity to your image. So Father, we pray these things in your name. Amen. All right. Thank you, guys. You were made for more.